Birds would be a hereditary interest in my family, I would think. My, both my grandmothers and my father are avid bird watchers. I am myself, ever since I can remember, have always, um, wherever I've done, even the moderate amount of travel I've done, I've found out the local and familiar birds so that I can identify them. And um, I, I just really enjoy their nature, the dramatic little lives that they have in our backyards and in our parks. Uh, there's so much more going on that um, we don't see or that we take for granted even just because they are there um, we just think that they're there and don't really understand what they're doing i i definitely um, gravitate more towards landscapes and nature uh, birds more than any other um, animals or or life i just connect with them um, i find their habits and their um, their ways of, of living um, mirror some of my own stories, my own life stories. So I look for that fami familiar um, concept between me and them. Um, the killdeer, for example, does this really dramatic show to protect its young, it pretends to have a broken wing and everything to take the attraction off of the nest and bring it to herself. and. I, I just I enjoy those stories that most people don't know when they say, oh, that's a bird. <laughs> but why is it being a bird? <laughs> I go out sketching. I don't, uh, I don't go out with my canvases, but I do take my sketchbook and I do sketch on my iPad too. But all of the birds um, here are local residents of the Arboretum and our backyards as well, especially the hummingbirds in the summer. If you do put out food for them, they will visit. But you'll see all of them in our neighborhood around Aurora. Um, Town Park, um, everyone's backyards, the Arboretum, um, just they're, they're everywhere and it's just nice to give them a little bit of notice. I, I'd really like it when people, um, when they come to see the birds that are at the Aurora Public Library, if they connect with them um, in ways that we connect with the birds outside when the seasons change. So spring is coming, we know that the birds are returning to our neighborhood, we are starting to hear robins sing. My personal favorite is the trumpeter swan. They sound like great big kazoos flying overhead, really big musical kazoos they are hard to miss. And I know when I hear them that warm weather is on the way because they don't stick around if it's cold. Um, and I want them to feel that, you know, that change and that warmth and, um, you know, be glad that the birds who were hardy and determined and lasted the winter are still there. And the birds who went off to enjoy the south are coming back to enjoy our neighborhood again and just find their own personal stories in there too.